Hello, welcome to this short tutorial on the use of Strawberry Enterprise Budget Sheets. This tool was designed to gather information for conducting life cycle assessments for strawberry productions. And the tool is flexible enough to incorporate different production scenarios and production methods. This tool was developed based on funding from uh, NSSI, which was funded uh, University of Arkansas, which was funded by Walmart Foundation. This tool was developed by uh, a team of researchers from Oregon State University and USDA National Agricultural Library. Uh, in this tool basically is very similar to the enterprise budget sheets that a lot of farmers and uh, agricultural economists are familiar with. To use this tool, uh, you have to. Uh, there are a set of instructions provided in uh, the introduction section tab of this uh, Excel sheet, and uh, there are four tabs. The first one is introduction uh, sheet tab. The second one is result summary. The third tab consists of economic analysis and the fourth tab is the strawberry LCI data. The way that this tool works is we enter all the uh, all the user interactions happen on the introduction tab and are divided into four phases. The first phase is to initialize the analysis and uh, this in, uh, initializing the analysis uh, once a user presses the button on that it will open up a window and has a information uh, um, basically section which basically we can read uh, for example uh, it will talk about the form what is the purpose of the form how do we select different options and what are the def default data and uh, whether if it is normal for any error messages or things like that and then uh, what to do after completing the data input and once you click OK there we can go to the geographical location select the geographical location for example we can select any of the US states and uh, let's select California here and in that case you immediately see a, a tab that says that there is default location for this geographical location do you want to select that data you can select yes in that case this data will be populated automatically or if you you can also select for example a different state or you can say no no here and then continue in this case in this example we'll uh, use the default data that is existing in the database default data exists for california and florida in this particular edition of this uh, enterprise budget sheet so once we select we can select different matter rows or different production methods of production and different uh, farm acre size number of uh, years in production and all these and once we are done we basically say initialize budget sheets and then we click done now we are done with the initializing the analysis now we have to input the economic data for that when we hit that button then we again have a set of instructions after reading these instructions we can close this it is very important to note two things the point number three there is basically it uh, we have to ensure that there is at least one nursery stream in the first year because we need some kind of a nursery uh, plants uh, in for production and then we have to ensure at least one revenue stream it does not matter if the value is zero but it has to be there so that the economic analysis can be performed uh, properly and these data can be changed any number of times after the completion of the input data please press done to exit the dialog so this is again this is the data that is populated from our previous California method and then we can select any method uh, any uh, row and delete and it asks for whether you are sure and then press S yes. please note that there are no is on the left hand side unlike other ones so that you don't accidentally uh, delete your data <laughs> And uh, we can press yes and we can for example insert data so we can say first year and it automatically selects the year there and uh, we can select any of these different unit operations and the resource category within that new unit operation for example nutrient application will bring up only fertilizers materials labor fuel and other machinery whereas if we go for uh, fixed expenses 
fertilizer and all those other ones will not be coming up so in this case let us take a look at the for uh, nutrient application and there is also this pest and disease and disease control which will bring up all these uh, other uh, ones uh, um, other pest and disease control and plant uh, cultivation and weeding which will bring up all the fungicides herbicides and all these other uh, things as well so let us take a look at the nutrient application and in that one let's take fertilizer and we add uh, some of uh, the nutrients there and it automatically populates it with the uh, data that is present in the database we can change any of this data and uh, we can select a particular unit that we want and uh, we, we have to specify the quantity and if we try to insert data it gives the a error message there so we have to specify some kind of uh, data there and it is number of units per ton so we are specifying that there is 1.2 tons of uh, ammonium nitrate applied uh, to per acre of uh, per this farm and uh, this is 550 dollars per ton and uh, that's basically the data so we insert and we can see that ammonium nitrate has been added there in that and we can add it there we can modify a selected row and uh, we can change that number or any of these other things and then we can exit so modify the selected row modify data and exit now you can see that the mod data has been changed once we have done we have to ensure that there is at least one nursery and one revenue which is there and let's modify this revenue data and then uh, revenue and say that there is probably 5000 pounds I mean this is just a test data uh, two cent uh, two dollars a pound which is probably too much one point zero dollars a pound and you can see that the total will be automatically be calculated as we uh, go forward with these things and we exit and then once we are done we press done so we have finished our initializing the analysis and we have done the in uh, input of economic data now we can hit this perform economic analysis button and based on that the economic analysis results will be calculated so we can actually look at those results in the result summary which shows now that for the farm in California uh, farm size of two acres production method is plastic culture, the reference year, production cycle, interest rate, inflation, all these things are specified here and we can see that the income is $48 in loss because their costs are for $5,000 and revenue is $5,000 and $5,045. So this basically shows and then the amortized cost of production is also shown here. A detailed economic analysis is presented in the economic analysis tab where we can see the uh, again you can see the similar data there and then we, we can calculate different factors and uh, we can get it per year basis and once we are done we go back to our introduction tab and here uh, now this is what we are all familiar with in a traditional enterprise budget sheet now the additional part here which we use to get the life cycle uh, inventory data is we want to get the metadata so called metadata which describes the different uh, aspects of this data so we have to fill out these uh, additional information tab here, uh, tabs here all these process names technology description review type all these things must be filled out by the user and once you're done with that then please uh, hit that's all and then you need to hit this extract LCA data once you do this it will come up with a uh, instructions information tab and then once you hit OK on it it will give a bunch of different warnings saying that matching uh, if it will throw warnings if any matching resources are not found for example in this case anhydrous ammonia for this geographical location was not found therefore uh, generation data generation may be incomplete so this is just a warning so that uh, basically it is the, uh, given to the users of the LCA data and uh, once we are done it generates this detailed uh, data sheet based on all the metadata that uh, the user provided here 
and the data that was used in the economic analysis and it generates all a very detailed LCI sheet which now can be imported as it is you can copy uh, control all control a control C and then copy that and basically you can s send this data to uh, us and then we can basically use that other tool to convert this in the second part of this uh, tutorial we'll show how this data can be converted using uh, a software tool that we developed into an ILCD data set thank you very much have a nice day bye